Hi everyone, okay, let's do some volume review with our cylinders and prisms. All right, um, and I know that this is not written the most neatest I could possibly, but that information is on the PowerPoint slide attached. These are the same questions I'm just doing them myself. All right, the first question is what is the volume in cubic inches of a rectangular prism, okay, with a height of 16 inches, a width of 4 inches, and a length of 20 inches. All right, so remember that when we have a prism, it's going to be base times height, and our base is anything that forms the bottom, all right? And when we have a rectangular prism, we're going to do length and width. So our base is length times width, which is going to be 4 times 20, which is 80, okay? And then we're going to take our base times our height, so 80 times, here's our height, 16. I don't know that in my head, so give me one second. 80 times 16. So that's going to be 1,280, and then we'll have inches. And if it's a volume, it's not squared, it's not plain, it's cubed. We're working in the 3D. Okay, volume is 3D. All right, moving on to cylinders. The formula is the same. It is base times height. But the base of a cylinder is a what? Circle. So we're going to have a circle base, which is pi r squared times height. Now, r squared is important. It is the radius. I know you all know this. Okay. So I look for here. I said the volume of cylinder in cubic feet, height of 20, okay, and a diameter of 4 feet. They didn't give us radius. They gave us diameter. Okay. If they give us diameter, you know that the diameter is two radiuses. In other words, if we divide it in half, we'll get radius. So we're going to take our 4, divide by 2, and your radius will be 2. So for our base, it is going to be pi radius squared. So that's going to be 4 pi. I know y'all don't have calculators at home that necessarily have pi. Pi is the same thing as 3.14. So 4 times 3.14, that's 12.56. And again, we're going to take our base times our height. So 12.56 times 20. And we get 251.2 feet cubed. Does that fit on there? There you go. Ooh. Last one, another cylinder. This time, if it conveniently does give us the actual radius, our base times our height will be our pi r squared times the height. r squared is going to be pi times 10 squared times 2, right? Doing it in pieces, 10 squared is 100, so 100 pi times 2, that's 314 times 2, which is 628 inches cubed. Okay, hope these aren't too bad. You have 10 of each on Delta Math. You can do this. Email me if you have any questions. I believe in you.